Hey there! In this video, I'm going to explain the difference between orbital and periorbital cellulitis. Orbital cellulitis and periorbital cellulitis. So they have some overlap, but there's a few key differences you need to know either as a medical provider, so this is for beginning medical providers if you're new to the ER, new to urgent care, or in some other setting where you need to know this, or if you're studying for a test. So I'll hit a few things you would need to know in either of those cases, like a you know board board review or board exam or or just like a test in school. All right, so what is the difference? Well, the name tells you the difference. So orbital cellulitis is an infection or inflammation, usually an infection, around the orbit, in the orbit, in the orbit, so it's around the eyeball. Um, so it's far enough back that it's in the actual orbit versus periorbital is around the orbit, but not in the orbit. So that means it's in kind of the soft tissues in front of the orbit. So it's they sometimes say preceptal, preceptal because it's in front of a septum that kind of separates the that soft tissue in front of the eye from the orbit itself. So the orbit, of course, being the eye socket. So if you have an infection in the eye socket, it's a lot more serious than if you have an infection in the skin in front of the eye socket. Um, so that's why it's important to know the difference. All right. So let's start with the less serious one, I guess. So. Uh, periorbital cellulitis, or preceptal, meaning it's in front of the septum, um, is uh, like a skin infection around your eye. It might spread from the sinus or from some other little skin defect or just somehow through the, you know, through like around your eye and your tear duct and all that. Some bacteria somehow gets in there and, and starts growing, just like cellulitis anywhere else in the body. Um, so the symptoms, you know, are the pain and swelling um, around the eye. And you might have some drainage out the nose or some, or might be some involvement of the nasolacrimal duct, which could also seem inflamed if you kind of palpate. You might be able to milk some, some pus out of there or something in some cases. But whether it involves that or not, you can have it there in that area. And what it's not going to have, it's not going to have proptosis or pain with eye movement. Because um, those are the two key differences. So proptosis is the, a the actual eye itself is kind of pushed forward, is bulging out. Not just the eyelid and the soft tissue, but the eyeball. Um, so that's proptosis. So that you don't have that with periorbital, and they can move their eye, just like not move their head or not push on anything, but just kind of look left, look right, without increased pain. They should be able to, generally speaking. So that's periorbital. How do you treat it? Usually augmentin, and usually it can be treated as an outpatient, you know, give them return precautions, follow up with an eye doctor just in case, maybe, but um, usually it's not going to be too complicated unless, you know, they're immunocompromised and have other problems, then maybe maybe you might need to be a little more aggressive. But, the, but what about orbital cellulitis? So orbital cellulitis is deeper. It's around the orbit, um, the eye socket. It's behind the septum, uh, post-septal, you might say. And how do you tell the difference? Well, you're going to have all the things you had with periorbital, like the swelling and pain around the eye but also pain with eye movement. So if they look up, look down, look left, look right, it's going to be painful, and there is some proptosis. So the eye, it's, eyeball itself may be bulging forward because of the swelling behind the eyeball and around the eyeball. So orbital cellul cellulitis is more serious because it's a threat to affect the eyeball and to spread to the brain and stuff like that. So the treatment for that is more aggressive meaning you would admit them to the hospital, get IV antibiotics, and have a specialist see them if possible, like an ophthalmologist. So that's the key difference, and that's kind of how you tell the difference. Um, so I've seen both cases several times in my career, and, and I, I check all the stuff. I ask all the questions, do the history, do the physical, but I have always focused on those two points as their proptosis and uh, pain with eye movement. So that was a quick rundown about what you need to know with periorbital and orbital cellulitis. And here's another video with another eye topic where I go over corneal abrasions, like what you need to know as a new provider or for a test prep. And then here's a playlist that has all my medical review videos that I've made so far. Hopefully you find it helpful and I'll see you next time.